I am your host, Fat Dag, and you're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com and follow along on Twitter at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, and your celebrations, and I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're out of points, stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together, because I believe in you. Hello there. Welcome to episode 37 of Wise Advice. We got 36, six of these in the books coming up on 37 now. Uh, and I want to open up the show with a couple things. I want to talk to you quickly about Operation Fat Dag, which is just something that just kind of popped into my brain today. And I had, I had the opportunity to talk to 30 soldiers, army soldiers who are at a point in their career, exactly where I was. And, uh, they are. They have less than a year now to to make the mind shift needed to keep their military career. And you know, and and I'm sure because I was in that scenario, I'm sure many of them accepted the fate that they're about to be handed, uh, and they're essentially giving up. And I want to go in with one last effort and say, no, you can do this. And uh, so I reached out on Connect, and I I asked you guys as my wingman to continue to do what you did so well for me, and and I asked you to send in uh, just a letter, a card, or something motivational. And what I'm going to do is when I'm talking to them, I'm going to let them know that, that they need to believe in themselves uh, because they can do this. They have the ability. To, you have the ability to do this. And so what I want to do, and I kind of want to frame my talk. i got to get some, get some moments how, how, when I, how I want to word it. But I want to tell them that they got to believe in themselves and that you believe in them. And, and that's got to give them some hope. And so as I tell them that, I want to hand them the cards that you mailed in and the letters that you mailed in. And uh, so in the show notes here, I will put an address for you to mail it in. I, I only need about 30, and it looks like based on what I saw on Connect, I'm probably going to get 30. But, man, I'll keep them in my bag, and I'll, I will always hand one to somebody who needs a little bit of hope because uh, people need to know that, that we believe in them. Uh, and and that, you know, that's kind of how my journey started. I didn't even believe in myself when I started. I had an amazing leader who believed in me, and I had some amazing wingmen who believed in me. And uh, and so the fact that you guys believed in me when I didn't was extremely powerful. And so so I kept going, and I kept going, and eventually I believed it as well. And so I know the place they're in. I know they're at a point right now where they don't believe in themselves. And uh, and the fact that you believe in them, and I believe in them, and we tell them together that people believe in them – and I'm hoping we save some careers here and we save some lives just like you did for me. So that's Operation Fat Dag. It'll be in the show notes. Uh, I'll put a link somewhere. Uh, it's also all over Connect if you haven't seen that already. So I wanted to open the show with that. But uh, I got an email today as I was getting the show ready. I got an email from uh, Marielle who wrote in. And it's funny. I had the show already. I was ready to go. And uh, this thing popped in my inbox. And I'm like, yep, this trumps everything. I got to talk about this right now. I got to get this out there, and uh, so this this one may go a little long, and I apologize if it does. If it does, hit pause, and uh, you'll come back to it later. But um, I'll open up. She says, uh, "Hi, Fat Dag. I'm online only, and deeply appreciate your podcast as my little way of getting a daily dose of inspiration. It is so wonderful." Here is my question: How do I find my why? I love the concept of finding my why, and I love all the whys I hear others on Connect talk about. I had 70 pounds to lose at the start of my journey, and after six weeks in, I'm down 18.2 pounds. I'm loving it, but I don't know what my why is. I don't have children. I don't have any real health issues. I'm not on any medications that losing weight would help me get off of. I know I need to do this, and I'm so motivated to do it, but I just can't figure out what my why really is. Can you help me? Well, absolutely we can help you, and, and here's, here's what I want to tell you. Uh, I don't even think I knew my why as a, as a definition of my why when I started. And so here's what I would tell you. When, when the day you signed up, you're online only, you said that. About 10 minutes before you went to www.weightwatchers.com to sign up, there was a feeling in your head. You didn't go there by accident. You weren't looking for something, you weren't looking for something you know, random, and all of a sudden this popped up. You said, yeah, I'll give that a shot. Why not? Something drove you to go to that website. Something drove you to type in WeightWatchers.com. Something drove you to pull out your credit card and pay a monthly fee for a service online. 
whatever that is that drove you to do that is your why. You may not know at this point what that is. You may not be able to define it, but it's there. And so what I want to say to you is if you were to stop doing the program and you were to give up on those goals, at some point, years down the road, weeks down the road, months down the road, who knows how long, you're going to come back. You will come back to that because that why brought you there in the first place. And until you solve that why, you will always have the feeling of, I either I either want to lose weight, I don't like the way I feel, I don't like the way my clothes fit. Something draw, brought you to that scenario. That's what you need to tap into. Now, as you do that, you will develop things along the way of why is, yeah, I can tie my shoes better, I can roll out of bed better, I can walk to the park. All those things are, are secondary to that internal reason that you joined. That foundational reason that you said, I want to join Weight Watchers today, or, or I want to join any health program or any weight loss program, the reason you joined that is your why. So what I ask people to do all the time is I say, write that down. Try and find out why you walked into the meeting and what were you thinking 10 minutes before you signed up? What were you thinking 10 minutes before you walked through the door or, or whatever the timing is? Whatever it is you are thinking, I want you to write that down for you. I want you to write yourself a story. I want you to write a letter. Say, dear, boom, here's what I'm thinking. Here's why I'm joining. And today I, I feel terrible. For me, 10 minutes before walking into a Weight Watchers meeting was the worst I'd felt in my life in a long time. I was miserable. Write that down. Write a story to yourself. Read it. Keep it close by. You don't have to share it. You don't have to tell anybody about it. But when you start doing well on the plan, you're down 18.2 pounds and you're loving it. So you feel good. You've now somewhat forgotten why you joined in the first place because 18.2 pounds is phenomenal. It's great work. So what I want you to do is I want you to read that story back to yourself at 18.2 pounds down. Read the story and say, why did I join? Read it again. Because what's going to happen is that complacency trap we always talk about sneaks itself in and says to you, we're good enough. We got it. So... So I don't know what your why is, and I, I can't help you find your why, but I know it exists. And, and your why is what caused you to go to the website and sign up for the very first time. Tap into that, stick with it, and let me know when you reach your goal. That's right. Let me know when you reach your goal, because if you're down 18.2 pounds, you have the ability to reach your goal. You don't lose 18.2 pounds accidentally. It just doesn't happen like that. So what happens is, is you've lost 18.2 pounds. You know you can do that. I know you can do it. It's just a matter of time, and the scale will eventually catch up. So so thanks for that email. Very, very good question. I'm glad to give you that advice, and and uh, let's, let's get it done. Next up, uh, May writes in. May says uh, the subject of her email is binge listening to podcasts, and I, I love that subject. always gets my attention and says, uh, dear Fat Dag, I've been following you since you joined in March of 2016, as I felt our journeys were both starting at the same time as I started in February of 2016. I also reached Lifetime in September of 2016, with a total weight loss of 60 pounds. I started binge listening to your podcast. I'm on episode 17. I want to give you kudos for all you do and how inspirational you are. It's nice that each podcast is not too long. I'm not quite finding my groove yet being in Lifetime. And listening to you has given me some ideas to feel more comfortable. What do you think of lifetime members only meetings? I don't have them available where I live, but I wanted to know your thoughts. Thanks again and good focus. Hey, you know, I think um, I, I think lifetime is a completely different story, and so I, I'm kind of I'm going to go off the cuff here. And um, you know, first of all, thank you for your email, and, and thanks for for following me, and congrats on reaching lifetime. 60 pounds down, it doesn't happen by accident, well done, great job, uh, and so you're doing fantastic work. Now, when it comes to Lifetime, I believe the mindset for Lifetime is significantly different than the mindset needed to lose weight. However, we're a team. It's a team effort. A Lifetime-only meeting misses out on the greatest joy that we have in this journey is that's to help others and inspire others. So if you take a whole room of people who need each other and put them in the room together who are all at lifetime and then you have the meeting and no one goes to that meeting where the folks who are just starting out, they miss that inspiration that we can provide to them. So, so I understand the concept behind a lifetime only meeting. I get that. 
But I, I believe it's a bigger journey. I believe we work together to get these issues solved, and I believe it's that we learn from each other, and that's the beauty of the meeting room that you can't replicate anywhere else. So, so my hope for you is that this podcast turns into a somewhat of a lifetime meeting. It keeps your head in the game, keeps you focused, uh, and I want you to find your groove. You know, I think finding your groove is different. Finding your groove does not mean you're going to do the same thing every day. Finding your groove means that you're going to work this program every day and you're going to keep your why so close by that you never ever are going to drift too far away from your lifetime goals. So, so there's going to be days that you struggle. There's going to be days that you rock it. Uh, in both of those days, you're still in your groove. Your groove is, I know why I'm doing this. Your groove is, I know why I joined and I no longer have those reasons and I never want to get them back. That is your groove. So the fact that you're struggling to find your groove, I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying as you say that. And I want you just to reshift your fo- your mindset. You hit lifetime. You set us. You set yourself out on a goal, and you got it done. Just maintain it. Yeah, sure. You can. You can do that. You absolutely can do it. Because if you lost sixty pounds, you know, I just said it doesn't happen by accident. That was hard work and discipline and dedication, and you got it done. So. So May, great job. Uh, you know, keep up with the good work. Keep maintaining lifetime. And go, you know, when you go to your meeting as a lifetime member, let someone know that they have the ability to do exactly what you did. Just look at them and say, you know what, I, when I started on day one, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what the end result was going to be. I just didn't give up. And I'm still here. And that will give them the hope and motivation to continue with it. So thank you again for the email. Next up, we got Nikki out of New York City. Nikki writes in, she's down 10% is her subject and how I got there. And says, hey, Fat Dag, I've been listening to your podcast since day one. It's a perfect length show for my fortunately short commute to work. Your hallmark advice of stop eating points when you're at a point is so simple and effective. I'd been resisting my daily point number in favor of my maximum blue dot points number, and it really was not working out. I've been, uh, I've been picturing hitting my 10% all month, and just couldn't get there on my meeting weigh-in day. Like you, I'm, a, I'm an at-home daily wear to keep tabs on the data. It's been a true roller coaster month. Finally, I achieved 10% in the meeting room today. Over the last few weeks, I had grown complacent with my progress. I received a few compliments, and my clothes are fitting better, and I even bought a few smaller-sized items. Now that I'm here at 10%, I'm even more motivated to just eat my points and get down to my goal weight. I love that you say 10% is a big deal and that if you can hit 10%, you will hit goal. I'm sure uh, I feel that way too right now. Thanks again for being a wingman to the Connect community. Be well. Best wishes, uh, Nikki. So, Nikki, that's exactly right. 10% is uh, it's incredible. And so so if you start off on your journey and, and you, know, you look at that daunting number of 10% of your weight loss, 10% does not happen by accident. You don't just do it. You, know, you don't just wake up one morning and you're down 10%. 10% is a sustained effort into the program. And so so you, you have the focus and the discipline to make sure you're making hard choices and you're making choices along the way that reward you and, and change your healthy uh, change your lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle. I firmly believe if you hit 10%, it's that goal in the process where you now have I've done something where you say, I've set a goal, I've hit a goal through focus, discipline, and determination, and I got it done. So, so to continue in that and to get to the point where you now say, I- I'm going to hit goal, is just a matter of time. I declared early on in my journey, I don't even remember the exact numbers, I'll have to go back and look through, but there was somewhere of my 91-pound weight loss, around 40 pounds down, I declared that I made goal. Because I knew my goal was a mindset. I knew at 40 pounds down that I was going to get to 90 pounds down. I just knew it. So, And that's where that 10% is for me. I wasn't at 10% at 40 pounds. But, but at 10%, it's that same thing. You, you know you can do this. You have the ability to get it done. So thanks for your email. And you know, I, think, uh, I think you've got a good, good head on your shoulders. I think you know exactly what you need to do. I think you have the ability to get it done just like I think we all have the ability to get it done. It's the one thing that we all can do. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. I know you can do it. I've seen it done. How bad do you want it? If you focus on why you joined, if you focused on the very first reason you hopped in, 
there was something about your life that wasn't exactly how you wanted it and you wanted to make a change. That change will propel you to what we called lifetime. So uh, congrats on the celebrations and congrats on 10%. And, and I always want to know, what are you celebrating? What, what out there is making you continue on this journey? Let's share it on the air. Uh, let's go, go to fatdag.com, click on podcast, send in your celebrations, send in your comments, your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. You can also send them in via Twitter at Wise Advice. And, and certainly, if you prefer, go ahead and call in, leave a voicemail at 317 662 4214. And, uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and splice the audio in and get it in as part of the show. As always, I appreciate your comments and your, uh, your reviews on iTunes and sharing the podcast with whoever. The download numbers continue to blow my mind. It really does. Um, you know, we're, we're, I think we're coming up on 60,000 downloads, which just, it just it's phenomenal. I don't understand it. Uh, but what I understand is that we're reaching people and we're helping people and people have the ability to change their own lives and we're a part of it. So, so thank you for what you do. That's going to do it for this time. Remember that losing weight, getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. You got to remain disciplined and focused. Set your sights on your goals and go after it. I wish you good focus. Yeah.